In other news this morning, an Oakland County judge over a rather ruling that abortion should remain legal in Michigan and blocks prosecutors from enforcing the state's 1931 ban. But this fight nowhere close to being finished. Judge Jacob Cunningham delivering his ruling after listening to two days of witness testimony. Now, it doesn't strike down the 1931 abortion ban, but it means it can't be enforced. That sets up a series of new fights over the issue of abortion. An Oakland County judge blocking prosecutors from charging abortion providers under the state's 91 year old abortion ban that's still on the books. The judge essentially saying until a new legal action or a vote by the people, abortion should remain legal in Michigan. A person carrying a child has the right to bodily autonomy and integrity, as well as a safe doctor patient relationship free from government interference, as they have been able to do so for nearly 50 years. I'm relieved that everyone in this state knows that it doesn't matter what county you live in now. You are not, as a provider, going to be prosecuted. And you, as, as a woman and, and, a, and girls, um, have a right at this moment because of this ruling. On the other side, the attorney for the defendants calling it an abuse of power by the governor. It's such an abuse of our legal system. If it's allowed to stand, it is going to be... This is going to open the floodgates to all kinds of things. But the fight isn't over. An appeal is coming in the next few weeks. Those prosecutors looking to enforce the law have to file their appeal within 21 days. And then there's the sweeping ballot initiative, which has a challenge pending. The deadline for a decision set for August 31st. In his final statement, the judge urging those watching and those in court to register to vote. As a final note, the court reminds the public that the final day to register to vote is October the 24th, 2022.